Hello, I'm Bishop Charles E. Blake, Sr. Many have asked how you can help with the terrible disaster in the Bahamas. You can do so by supporting the 2019 Laity Campaign. The International Missions Department, funded through the Laity Campaign, with assistance from Kojic Charities, is taking the lead in our continued response to this devastating tragedy. I am pleased to announce that over $100,000 of supplies and assistance is being provided to the people of the Bahamas. Our first shipment of emergency supplies has already arrived in the Bahamas. Your support of this year's Led to Campaign is crucial. I'm asking every pastor and member to join me in this effort to receive a $20 offering. Churches can forward their laity offering directly to the address on the screen. My beloved Church of God in Christ, I am counting on your help. Tuesday Night Service returns October 8th at 7.30 p.m. in the Multipurpose Room. The speaker will be Elder Lauren Roberts. Ladies, 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 be sure to meet First Lady Pamela Wooden for Second Tuesday Night Sisters this coming Tuesday night, October 8th at 7 p.m. Prepare for an inspirational evening of encouragement designed with you in mind. Plan to arrive at 6.30 p.m. for fellowship and refreshments and then get ready to close this last session of the year with a bang. Ladies, it's prayer time. Join First Lady Pamela Wooden for the monthly prayer call to be held Thursday, October 10th at 6 a.m. All prayer requests can be sent to UR underscore women at plwooden.org. The prayer line number is 530-881-1212 and the access code is 726-840-337. Be sure to save the date for the final NC 3rd Jurisdiction Call Meeting of 2019 to be held Saturday, October 19th at 10 a.m. Bishop Wooden is expecting all credential holders and jurisdictional workers to be in place and everyone is encouraged to attend. Attention all Easy Tithe users. Please complete an envelope for your transaction with name along with funds allocation and also write paid on Easy Tithe on the envelope. First time users should also include an email address. Your cooperation is greatly appreciated. <laughs> 